Welcome to Relirium Tutorials. Today I will show you how to customize your GIMP interface and the icon themes. We'll be using GIMP 2.10.10. So first you're going to go to GIMP and you'll see over here at the left there's a well all the icons are grayed out. So if you go to edit and go down to preferences And once the preference menu pops up, you can go over here to the interface. You can go to theme, and you can change if it's going to be dark, gray, light, or system. So dark is what we currently have enabled. Then there's gray. So you click on it, it'll change the theme. So now it's all gray. Then there's light. And then there's system. I think system was the oldest version of these. I'm going to go back to dark for now. Then you can click OK. Go back to edit. Preferences. Now we'll go down to icon theme. Click on icon theme. It is currently set on symbolic. There's also symbolic inverted, legacy, and color. We'll start with symbolic inverted. If you click on it, it changes everything. So here you can see it's more transparent and harder to see. Then you can go over to the legacy. We're going to click on that. And now you can see that the icons are colored in and have a different look to them. Now you can go to color. And here you can see the icons once again change their look and their color. Now you can also change the size of the icons. So down here where it says guess icon size from resolution, you can click on the drop down menu. You can set it to use. I, the preset icon size for the theme you have selected, or you can use custom icon size. I'm going to click on that, and you can see on the left it defaults to small. You can also do medium, large, or huge. So we're going to take the slider, drag it to medium, and it changes the size back to how it originally was. Then you can go to large. Then you can also go to huge. I'm going to go back down to medium. And I'm going to click OK. Now you can see we have colored icons. And we've changed the size back down to medium. So let's go back to, to edit. Go to preferences. We can go to toolbox. You'll see that all these icons are now colored because we changed the icon theme. I click on the toolbox, moves over. Up here in the appearance, you can show or hide certain aspects of GIMP. So there's the top it says show GIMP logo drag and drop target. So if you hide it, you'll see the logo disappears. And if you bring it back, up here the logo is back in. You can do show foreground and background color. That'll be this, it'll change. So if you hide it, it'll be gone. If you activate it, it'll come back in. You can do show active brush, pattern, and gradient. It is not selected right now. You can activate it. And here you can see the active brush, the gradient, and the active gradient. I'm going to hide that. Then there's show image, the active image. So when you import an image, you can, or you can open it like this by clicking here and selecting, or whatever image you have selected will be shown here. I'm going to unhide that. Now down here in tool configuration, you can either hide or show certain icons. So see up here near where the move is, you can hide it, so you won't be able to see the move icon anymore, or you can bring it back. 
can go through all of these icons and you'll see down here at the bottom some of them aren't selected. So here is a brightness contrast icon. I'm going to hide it. There's a threshold. You can hide that as well. Levels, curves, GEGL operation, and there and have it again. I'm going to hide those again because I don't have use for them. And I'm going to click OK. And that is how to customize the icon and interface in your GIMP 2.10.10. If you enjoyed the video or learned something, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.